Videos like these are made possible thanks to your generous contributions to the Unabridged Gamer Patreon. So I like Anthem. I like Anthem a lot. I don't regret any of the 30 or so hours I spent with my Interceptor Javelin tearing up the planet of Bastion, defending the human settlement of Fort Tarsus, and uncovering ancient secrets while fighting Scars, Outlaws, and the Villainous Dominion. How anyone in their right mind can call this game boring is beyond me. Speaking as someone who suffered through the original Destiny launch day and the likes of other loot and shooters, Anthem is a vast improvement. It combines the flow of a Devil May Cry-esque brawler with Mass Effect Andromeda's superpowered shooting, blending it into something wholly its own and distinctly amazing. Whenever I return to the game down the road, I absolutely look forward to trying out the Colossus and Storm Javelins for even more fun. I enjoyed the characters like Faye, Halleck, Owen, Dax, Bryn, Morelda, and Max. All the great dialogue quests and the cute little video dramas you can listen to between missions and hear people argue about which one is better. The aesthetics that are gorgeous even on medium graphic settings. It's fantastic that the enemy factions have unique power units and that their attacks, especially on harder difficulties, necessitate being more agile and active than almost any other shooter out there right now. It's like Vanquish gone fully 360 in the best way possible. I love that the loadout system is built around grinding for new abilities and equipment instead of armor sets, meaning I can look as fabulous and deadly as I want while still having something to work towards and some real variety in terms of what abilities I can bring into the battlefield. I can be an up-close poison sprayer or I can be tossing shurikens from far away. My allies can be doing ground pounds or charges. There's so many possibilities with this system. I love that the strongholds aren't just linear corridors but instead encourage using the movement system and actually using platforming as a role. There is a reason for players to be the deft and speedy one while other players actually handle the combat. That's a greater variety than you rarely see in these sorts of games. I absolutely love that the jetpack heating system is used with different environmental effects to allow for all sorts of unique situations that otherwise wouldn't be possible or might break the game, all harnessed by a very wonderfully executed weather system. I also love that certain side stories can change course wildly based on your choices, and that the protagonist is so damn genuinely pleasant to play as. Honestly, other than the soundtrack, which just does not sound like it's there yet, they need to bring in a new composition. The overt insistence on multiplayer when the game clearly works as a single player experience 90% of the time, and a far too brief to be continued conclusion. I have no major complaints with Anthem. I'd like to be able to rebind my sprint function to alt, but for some reason the game refuses that. However, I didn't have half the glitches and issues anybody else seems to have. I had one quest glitch that required a checkpoint restart and one crash to desktop. For comparison, Battlefront 2017 has caused maybe 20 blue screens at least, and has a permanent glitch on one of the maps with AMD cards, so I know what it means to have a game break because of glitches, but I don't know if I just got lucky or what, but I for once can't speak to the issues folks are having. This is actually working fine for me. As of this writing, the PS4 crash bug hasn't been fixed, so obviously wait longer there, but having played on a decent PC, I've been fine. What's more, Bioware has gone above and beyond to try and patch everything as aggressively as possible in a console generation full of delayed support, Bioware has achieved improvements in record time! It wasn't a smooth launch, but it's been a constructive one, at least from the developer's side of things. As for why I'm keeping this video so short, three very important reasons. One, like with Vampire, I have once again done a lengthy co-review discussion on game critics at the link in the description below. As a bonus, it also has some initial thoughts on some games coming up in Clash of the Titans. Two, I'm going to have more to say about this game in the future. We need to talk about the suit heating system and the side quests of Anthem in their own standalone videos. Three, I know I'm late enough for getting this out that most of you watching were waiting on a yay or nay from me. So let me just clear that up for you really quick. It's an 8.5 out of 10. Not worth the initial asking price, but absolutely worth it if you're already considering grabbing a month of Origin Premiere or if you're waiting for it to go on sale for, say, 30-ish. We'll come back to Anthem at a later date. Thank you all for watching. Cheers.